since the incident at Morrisville Manor, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Why do I have these visions? Why are my dreams haunted? Kelly seems to think that we're all on predetermined paths and things happen for a reason. I think it'd be pointless to be alive if everything we say or do is predetermined. It wasn't until this latest incident, though, that I began to think. Maybe there is something to be said about fate. It began when I was helping Kelly at the bookstore. We were cleaning out the back room, which looked like it hadn't been touched in years, when an old atlas fell at my feet. I was drawn to the book as if it was no accident it had fallen in front of me. As I looked at the page, I could hear voices. They were whispering. Suddenly an outline appeared on the map. It looked like a town. I pointed it out to Kelly, but she didn't see anything. She looked up the location, but there was no town anywhere near the site. Something strange was going on, and I had to investigate. I soon found myself on the outskirts of where the town had been marked on the map. The location was in the middle of a heavily wooded area. Upon closer inspection, I could see the remnants of an old road leading into the woods. It had been torn up and taken over by Mother Nature, but I could still make it out. It seemed like hours, but eventually I came to a clearing in the trees, and there it was, a series of old buildings, lined up quietly, without even a hint of life. My name is Delaware St. John, and this is the town with no name. I don't know how you talk me into staying here. I should be there with you in the field. I'm not in the field. I'm in a town. Very funny. You know what I... Wait, a town? According to the tracking device on Vic, you should be in the middle of the woods. Yeah, and someone went through a lot of trouble to make it seem that way. The road into town has been dug up and filled in with trees. This place is abandoned, but not like the everyone moved out kind of abandoned. The shops are still stocked, cars still here. Whatever happened here can't be good. Is there a name for this town? Here's where strange gets stranger. Any sign that references the town name is defaced or broken, like someone was trying to keep it a secret. The town with no name, huh? This is going to be tough, but there's got to be records somewhere of a town that was built on that location. I'm going to give Simon a call. I could use his help. Simon, huh? Well, you know what they say, the more geeks, the merrier. I'm going to look around. I'm sure this is going to be a long night. <laughs>